Please, ladies and gentlemen, I will switch between the screen. So down to all fours. So we are in, let me move my mat out of the way, of the car. So we're in this position on all fours. And then we're gonna just simply do head nods. So you're gonna drop your chin down onto your chest. And then you're gonna lift your head up. Okay, now make sure when you're doing it, you're keeping your tummy engaged, your back isn't curled. So I want flat back and I want your lats engaged. So you're dropping your head down to your chin and then lifting your head up. Keep your lats and chest engaged. That's it. Let me move this one. That's good. Keep going, nice, long, controlled. So dropping the chin down, bring it back up again. Good. Okay, this side, what you're going to do, I'll do it from the face on. So you're going to go in a circular motion. So drop your chin down. And then you're going to take your chin across to your left shoulder, lift your chin up, take it across, down to your right shoulder, and then back round to the other side, okay? So go with your chin, don't strain too much. Make sure you're still thinking about your torso, so keep your tummy engaged, keeping that back nice and flat. That's good, okay, let's go the opposite way. So I'm going to go up, across, down, across, okay? Keep going two more times, nice and controlled. Oh, Who said that then? Who said that's annoying? Who is it? <laughs> Les is that Leslie? Morning, Sue. Morning. Right, relax in there, relax in there. So this time we're gonna do the cat and the cow. So when we do the cat and the cow, we're gonna do a pelvic tilt one way. So we're gonna do an anterior tilt. So you're dropping your hips forwards and you pull your shoulder blades together, keep your arms straight. And then you're gonna do a posterior tilt with your hips where you go the opposite way. And then you're gonna open your shoulder blades out, okay? So you're gonna do an anterior tilt, pulling your shoulder blades together. And then you're going to do a posterior tilt, opening your shoulder blades out, okay? And let's bring the head into it as well. So as you do your anterior tilt, lift your head up. As you do your posterior tilt, bring your chin up to your chest. So down, that's it, and then back up again. Right, keep going, let's have a look. How are we doing? Very good, Sarah. Nice. Helen, good Wendy. Let's flick to the other people. There we go, Linda's there, good Trish. Trish, just bring your hands underneath your shoulders a little bit more. That's it, good Dave. Perfect. Okay, relax it there. So this time, what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna call, I'll say this way. So in this position here, bring yourself upright. Step forwards with your right foot. And then you're gonna take your right hand and left hand onto your instep side of your foot. Okay, so you're in that position. Okay, now keep this knee tucked in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna extend your back leg out straight. So we're in that position, back leg straight, as straight as you can. And then when you're in that position, you're gonna drop your hips forward, but keep your legs straight. Okay, now think about your back. What I don't want you doing is curling your back. So I want you pulling your lats down, pelvic tilts are locking through your tummy, and then bring it back up, okay? So you're gonna go down, keep that leg straight, drop your hips down to the floor, pull your shoulder legs back and in, get that front knee tucked in, and then back up, okay? Two more times. Let's have a look. So keeping that back leg straight, keep that right knee tucked in for me, Trish. That's good. Remember, both hands are on the instep side of your foot. So both hands on the instep side. So bring that hand inside. That's good. And relax it down. Right, change legs. So exactly the same on the other side. So bring yourself into that position again. Hands down onto the instep. Keep that knee tucked in. What the knee will want to do is drift out. I want you keeping it tucked in. Okay, then back leg straight. And then you're going to drop your hips down. Keep your weight back, pull those lats back and in, and then lift those hips up, okay? And then drop your hips back down again. So we're in that position. 
So drop your hips, pull those lats back and down, and then back up. Two more times. So down. Perfect. And then back up. Okay, last time, going down. And relax it there. Perfect, Be good. Okay, next one. So keeping that foot forwards, you're going to extend your same arm as your leg forwards in the air. And then you're going to take this hand down to the floor, okay? So you're going to go into that position and then bring yourself back up. Now keep looking at your hand all the way through, okay? So keep looking at your hand. So we're just taking your hand down to start off with, to the hands of it. So make sure it's the same arm, same leg, keeping that front knee tucked in, okay? Bringing it up. Now that should be reasonably straightforward. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and take our elbow down to the floor. So what I do is take your hand down first and then slowly bring that elbow down to the floor and then bringing it back up again. You go to what you can do, okay? Don't strain yourself. So take your hand down, then take that elbow down as close as you can, looking up to your hand, and then back up again, okay? Keep going, let's have a look. Very good, nice Sarah. That's it, Helen, good. Very good, Wendy, take your time, that's it. Say again. You haven't mentioned me. Who, oh, who else is here? Who else have we got? Oh my God, we've got Sue as well. Sue, hello Sue. There's three screens. Oh my God, there's three screens. I can't cope with this. My, my brain's melting down. Right, relax it there. Get the tequila out, Zoe. Get the tequila out, I can't cope with it. Come on, let's get pissed. Right, change sides. So change sides. Sorry, Sue. How can I forget Sue? Oh my God. It's just rude. So let's do hand first. Adjust your hand. Then make sure when you're going down, you're slightly hinging. Okay, so as you go down, your bum goes back. Okay, but not too far. So your bum goes back as you go down. Keep your tummy engaged. Okay, I don't want to see a curl in that lower back. So keep squeezing through your tummy. Once you feel as though you can do that, then let's make sure we're taking our elbow down. Let's start with the lovely Sue. Let's have a look, Sue. Oh, it's easy for you, that Sue. Nice. Keep opening your chest, Sue, in that position. So keep opening your chest. Go on, Sarah. Keep your chest open, so open it out. So you're pulling your shoulder blades down and back. That's it, Wendy. Keep that right knee in, Wendy. Good, that's it. Very nice, good. 10 seconds, keep going. Good, Linda. Linda looks like an angel. There's a light shining through your window and it makes you look like a little angel. Dave looks like a fairy. Now, you there. <laughs> Sorry, Dave, did I put you off then? Sorry, Dave. Sorry. Well done, Trish. Perfect. Okay, relax it there. Right, onto your feet for me. So onto your feet. Right, then. feet a little bit wider than normal for what we would do for a squat. Okay, turn your toes slightly out. Okay, you're going to imagine you've got a kettlebell into your hand. And what we're going to do is we're going to sit down as low as we can, trying to get our elbows into our thighs, and then we're going to squeeze back up again. Okay, so we're going down. I hope I don't split my trousers doing these tracky bottoms and then back up here because that would be fatal because I'm going commando today. Body joking, body joking. So from the side, you're going down, sitting your bum down into it, squeezing back up. When you come back up, make sure you're locking your tummy, okay? Oh, Linda's moving. <laughs> She's on the move. That's it, Dave, keep your chest up. Nice, Sarah, good, Trish. All right, let's have a look at Helen. Nice, Helen. So as low as we can, Wendy, that's it. Good, Sue. Try and keep your chest up, Sue. Try not to drop your chest down onto your knees. Keep your back straight. <laughs> Were you checking you had your sports bra on then, Sue? 
<laughs> okay, one more, one more. Perfect. Okay, watch the change. Keep your feet into that position. You're going to extend one of your arms up into the air. Okay, you can use your opposite arm to stabilize. Same movement, we're sitting down into it. Okay, but you're keeping this arm as straight as you can. So from the side profile, we're here, sitting down, keeping that arm up, and then back up again. What I don't want you doing is that, or that. Okay, you've got to keep that arm up as we sit down into it, okay? So this is activating our glutes, our core, our shoulders, everything. Let's have a look. Right, Linda, that's very good. How's that on your hip, Linda? That's good. Right, let's do four more and then we'll change size. Nice, Helen. Now lock your tummy, Helen, when you come back up. If you feel it in your lower back at all, any of you, it means you're not engaging your tummy. Okay, so make sure you engage your tummy, especially on the way up. Okay, so down in three, hold for one, and then up in one. So down in three, good Sarah. You better not be using that wall to hold on to, Crawford. Get your hand away from that wall. <laughs> nice, Dave. Okay, let's change sides then. So exactly the same on the other side, okay? So arm up, feet nice and wide, and then we're sitting down into it, keeping those knees out. Knees stay above those ankles. Try not to let your knees drift in. Okay, keep those knees out, sitting that bum down, keeping that arm nice and straight, okay? Nice, smooth and controlled. Perfect, good Sue. That's it, nice Helen, big squeeze back to me again. Good Wendy, let's have a look, let's flick. Linda, very nicely done Linda. Good knee position that, that's my pleasure. As always. Okay, relax it there, relax it there. Right then, so, we're gonna do bear crawl, so you need to be able to move forwards and backwards. We're gonna do a low bear crawl. I'll show you in this position, but I'm gonna be moving towards you and back, okay? So here, back into the quadruple position, locking through your tummy and your lats, you're gonna lift your knees off the floor. You're gonna move forward, opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? So you move forwards as much as you can. So if I'm looking straight on, I'm coming forwards like that, opposite arm and leg, thinking about locking through my tummy, thinking about keeping my knees nice and low, and then I go backwards, okay? And then I go backwards. I want you doing it for 30 seconds from now. So you're going forwards and backwards, opposite arm and leg, keep those knees secure underneath your hips once you've set your leg back down again. Good Helen. That's it, Wendy. Sue, let's have a look. Get your knees down, Sue. Knees nice and low to the floor. If you find it difficult, just hold the tabletop plank position. Okay, so if you find it difficult, hold that position and lift your knees off the floor. You've got five seconds. Four, three, two. Hold on, relax it there. Very good. Oh, right back into child pose. So weight down to your heels, chest down to the floor. Breathe in out through your nose. Okay, bring yourselves up. Right, last one, downward facing dog and cobra, okay? So starting here, we're gonna go downward facing dog, looking up to your chest, move your hands slightly forwards, down into the cobra. Now, when you're in that cobra position and your hips are lifted, I do not want a big bend in your back. I want you thinking about glutes and tummy. So I don't want a big bend, I want you engaging so you're opening out through your tummy. So downward facing dog to start off with. Move your hands slightly forwards, down into the cobra, lock your tummy, open your tummy out. Don't drop too much, squeeze your glutes. And then back up again, move your hands in. All right, let's have a look. Oh, I've just had a head rush. It must have been that tequila. That's it, very nice. Good Trish, good Sarah. Let's have a look, Dave. Nice bald spot, Dave. Thank you. 
Is that all right? That's good. Relax those shoulders, Helen, when you're doing your cobra. So do it again. Shoulder, that's better. Let's have a look, Sue. Keep those arms straight, Sue. They are. They <laughs> bloody are. Right, relax it there. Relax it there. Right then. So that's your warm up done. Right, get yourself a quick drink. I'm going to bring my lovely assistant in. Come in, lovely assistant. Ta da! Ta da! Hi! Right then, so I'm going to be describing what we're going to do. Zoe's going to actually do it, okay? So we're going to do six different movements. These movements that we're going to do are um, all the movements that your body should be able to do. So we're going to do planks. We're going to do a pull action, we're going to do a pull push action, we're going to use lunges, we're going to do squats, we're going to do all different things, okay? We're going to do each exercise for one and a half minutes, okay? So the first 60 seconds of each exercise, we're going to do it as a, a strength exercise. So for example, exercise number one is going to be a low plank, okay? So you're going to hold the low plank for a minute. After that minute is up, we're going to turn it into a more cardiovascular based session where I'm going to, or exercise where I'm going to do um, with a low plank, we're going to do jumping jack feet or step out. Okay, so let's Zoe demonstrate. So Zoe's going to go down into the low plank. Make sure when you're doing your low plank, your hands are apart, don't have your hands together. Okay, we're locking through our tummy and we're pulling our weight forwards. Okay, then what we're going to do is Zoe's going to do step out. So after a minute, she might do step out where she's stepping out one foot, and then the other, then back again. Or she's gonna do jumping jack feet, okay? Whichever one you wanna do, okay, you choose, okay? So we're gonna do a blow plank for a minute, and then we're gonna do the step out, so a jumping jack feet, okay? Round of applause for the demonstrator, please. Round of applause. Very good. Right then, I have my remote control. I'm going to point it at the timer in the gym and we are going to start. So low plank. If you find it difficult, go down onto your knees. I don't want anybody resting. We're going to keep doing it all the way through. Okay, you ready? Three, two, hold on, up you go. So low plank position. Look at your hands. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. Lock it through your tummy. Linda's gone. She's off. She needs a wee. That's it, Helen. Keep your feet still, Helen, to start off with. Just do the normal low plank. So basic low plank for me. Let's have Sue, perfect. Keep that pelvic tilt on. Let's have a look at Dave, good Dave. Nice Trish, good Sarah. Right, let's turn that into, if you can, we're gonna make you unstable. So we're gonna do hip touching. So watch Zoe, she's gonna do a hip touch, okay? You've gotta try and keep your torso still. If you find that too hard, then keep doing the low plank, okay? We've got 20 seconds remaining. So if you find this difficult, because your hips are turning too much, hold the low plank, okay? Don't want any movement through the hips. You've got 10 seconds, then we're gonna do the step out or the jumping jack feet, okay? Get yourselves ready. Five, three, Two, right, hands down, either step outs or jumping jack feet, off you go. Remember, if you're, when you're doing it and you lift your leg off the floor, you are keeping your hips still, keep your pelvic tilt locked on. If you find it difficult, drop down onto your knees. You've got 15 seconds, then we're gonna have a little rest. Keep your hands apart, keep locking through the tummy. 10 seconds, we're nearly there. Keep going, get your bum down. Five, three, Two, hold on, and relax there. Very nice, the dog. Perfect. Well done, you lot. That was good. Right, quick drink. Quick drink. It might let you know now, by the way. It might do. So, quick drink. No, it's not getting to you. Right, let me do it. Right then, second exercise. Okay, we're going to do what's called a pendulum lunge. So Zoe, do you want to demonstrate again? Yeah. Go for a side view. 
So Zoe's going to do a front lunge and a back lunge. Okay, so she steps forward. When she steps forward, the important thing is just come back up again. When she steps forward, do it again. So step forward. Don't, once you've stepped, your weight goes down. So it's his back leg I'm looking at, okay? Squeeze your glutes and lock your tummy. Then she's going to push back up, lift the knee, and then she's going to do, oh, you've disappeared. Then she does a back lunge, okay? So she does a front lunge and then a back lunge, okay? That's it, yeah? So we're making sure we're keeping our pelvic tilt locked through both actions. When you push back up again, you've got to really squeeze. So once you're in that position there and you push up, I'm squeezing here and squeezing my bum to lift that knee up. And it's the same from the front back. Okay, make sure when you're in that position, lock, big push back up again. Okay, so you're going to do that for a minute. Then we're going to do jump lunges for 30 seconds. If you don't want to do jump lunges, I want you to hold it back. So watch the first version. So this is the harder version. So Zoe's going to jump up and she switches her legs. Okay, so she jumps and she switches her legs. If you don't want to do that one, hold one of your legs back and you're going to do small pulses. So she's holding it back and she's doing small pulses where you'll do 15 seconds on each leg and I'll tell you when to swap. Okay, so pendulum lunge first, forwards and back lunge. We're going to do 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on another leg. Then we're going to do the jump lunges or the small pulses. Okay, any questions? No? Excellent. Right, come on then, let's do it then. So you've got a minute on the clock. Your time starts in five, four, three, two, one, up you go. Right, I'm flicking through to see who's doing it right. If you're not sure, keep watching Zoe. So think about the transition. When you push back up again, you are locking your tummy and squeezing your glutes to that front leg. Well done, Sue. That's it, hello. So you've got to have that control, nice and smooth. Excellent, good Linda, keep locking that tummy. Let's have a look, Wendy, good. Keep that weight back. Right, change legs, change legs. So exactly the same on the other side. Let's have a look, Dave. That's good, stepping forwards. Keep your shoulders back, Dave. Keep locking your tummy. Excellent, pendulum lunges, Trish. Good, Sarah. Perfect, right, you've got 15 seconds left. That's good. Whoa, go on, Linda, big push. That's it. Is that George? Thank God it was George and not you, Dave. Right then, so we're going to do jump lunges. So jump lunges or small pulses. So either this one, or you hold one leg back and you do the small pulses with your back knee. It's up to you, okay? If you find that difficult, do glute bridges. Don't stop, okay? So if you find both difficult, do glute bridges. Lying on your back, lifting your bum up and down. Good. Right, change legs if you're doing small pulses. Change legs if you're doing small pulses. You've got 10 seconds. Keep doing jump lunges. Linda, they are bloody marvellous. Five seconds. Good, Wendy. Keep locking your tummy. Three, two, hold on and relax it there. Right, have a little walk about. Have a little walk about. Shake your legs. Whew, that was hard, wasn't it? Honestly, that was really difficult talking to you lot, kneeling on one knee. My legs are killing now. <laughs> <laughs> right, quick drink. Right then, you need, I'm going to give you a minute, you need a chair or a settee or something you can put your foot up onto, okay? So you need a chair, a settee or something you put your foot up to, onto. So Sue, you're going to have to wheel your bench out. <coughs> Nicely done. What is that, Trish? A poof? Let's have a look. Helen, what have you got? You got Alan? Helen's using Alan. There we go. Linda's ready. And Sue got her bench out. Sue, have you got your bench out? There we go. Right then. Here we go. Watch this one then. So we're going to do a Bulgarian split squat. So, Zoe's got a back foot up onto the bench. She's not stepping forwards. 
Okay, you do not need to feel it in your back leg down here. So if you're feeling it in this back leg, you are too far forwards with this front leg. You need to go further back. Okay, we're working your front leg. So we are doing a single leg squat, but we are stabilizing with our back leg. So if, you are too, if your legs are too wide apart, so come forwards from Zoe. So if you're in that position where you're opening this muscle out, your hip flexor, you're doing it wrong. I don't want to do it as a, an elevated lunge, okay? You're going back with that leg, you're dropping this knee down to the floor, and you're thinking about this front leg, squeezing through your glute, using your quads. Okay, so we're going to do 30 seconds on the right leg forwards, 30 seconds of your left leg forwards, then we are going to do skaters, okay? Zoe, do you want to step back and show us doing the skate? So watch Zoe, she's going to use the mat as her indicator. So she starts at one end and then she jumps to the other. Okay, so she's alternating her legs that she's landing on and she's using her opposite arm. Do the basic version. So the basic version is you don't jump, you do a step. Okay, look how elegant she is. Oh, what a lady. Come on, I love you. Very nice. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn the camera off now. It's getting a bit like that. It's getting a bit hot and steamy in this gym. It's not. It's cold. Right. So you are in that position. Okay. So your legs are not too far apart. So that back knee goes down to the floor. Off you go. So back knee is going down to the floor. Think about your pelvic tilt. When you squat, you are leaning forward slightly, so don't try and keep your back straight. Look at Zoe's posture when she goes down. Her shoulders move forward slightly, okay? You are squatting. If you look at me when you're doing it, when I do a squat, my body comes forwards, okay? You're doing the same thing, but you're doing it on one leg, okay? So exactly the same thing, so don't be scared of hinging. Nicely done, Dave. Right, change legs for me. Sarah, I would say your legs are too far apart. Bring your back leg in towards your chair a little bit more. So that knee goes down. That's it, right, off you go guys. Let's have a look at Helen. Helen, same with you, bring your back leg in more. Or your front, that's it. Wendy, they're perfect. Linda, they're perfect. So let's have a look at Sue. Excellent, Sue, you be careful on that knee. Good, right, five seconds, three, two, hold on, right, well that's it there. So Zoe's doing the skater, so she lands on one foot, I'll move the camera a little bit so you can see, and then across the other. If you wanna do the basic one, you do a step. So you are squatting with the leg that's on the floor, bringing your opposite leg behind, okay? So opposite leg behind. If that's difficult, I don't want you just holding squats in the middle. So if you find that difficult, just do basic squats. You've got 10 seconds. So we should be feeling our heart rate is going up. Five seconds. Three, two, hold on and relax it there. Nice, we done. Good. Well done. Sue, how are we feeling? Oh, 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 I can't wait to see that. That's very exciting, that is. Let's have a look at Helen. Helen, how are you then? All right. Lindy, they were good. Wendy, they were excellent. They were the best ones out of the lot of them. Dave? Yeah? Trish? Okay, my right knee's a bit sore, so I'm doubling with that one. Okay, you need to be careful then, don't you? If we do, if we do single leg squat things, I would maybe just do it as a double leg. So you've got a bit more support okay. with it. Same with Sue. Sarah, how was that for you? Yeah, okay, yeah, good. Right, and next one. This is the best one. This is the one where I'm going to check you all out on this one because it's press up time. Oh, I was expecting a cheer then, not a groan. What's going on? Right then, so full press up. Okay, when we are doing press up, we're going to just come back a little bit more so we can see it. So come this way towards me. Right, I want you trying to do a full press up. So you're going to come into a full press up. No, this way. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate it because Zoe hasn't got a clue what she's doing. Mm -hmm. So here, okay, you're on your knees to start off with. 
when you're bending your elbows, I want you thinking about opening your chest out and pulling your shoulder blades together when you go down, okay? So if you're going down, your elbows are slightly coming in. I don't want you in that position because what that'll do is it'll concave your chest and you'll do this, okay? You're never gonna do it. If your shoulders move, you're gonna hurt yourself. So what you need to do is get those elbows locked into the side, okay? So when you're going down into a press up, Okay, your shoulders stay still, your elbows are tucked in. All right, you're going down through. And then you're pushing back up again. If you can't do that because of this, turn to the side, dip your hips. So if you can't do it and you do this instead, when you go down, you're dipping your hips and your shoulders come up first, do it on your knees. This needs to be straight, your torso needs to be straight. Okay, so you're going down and your hips and your shoulders come up at the same time. If you find that difficult, it just means your chest isn't particularly strong and you're trying to use other movements and you're, trying, you're going to a cobra. So think about what you're doing. I'll check you out. I want you all trying to do a full press up to start off with. Okay, if you know you can't do it, then drop down onto your knees. Once you've done that, you're gonna use a settee bench or chair. Watch this one. So you're going to raise the bench in. Zoe's going to put her hands on the bench. Hands on the bench, press up position. And she's going to do small pulses up and down. Okay, so small pulses up and down. All right, so not big ones. You're keeping this nice and straight. You're not dipping your hips. So you've got your minute doing the full press up, 30 seconds doing that one. Okay, you can do either on your knees if you wish. Here we go. Five, four, Three, two, hold on, up you go. So I want elbows tucked in so you are using your lats. Nice press up, Sarah. When you're at the bottom, that's the bit where you've got to think, am I lifting my hips at the same time as my chest? If you're not and you're curling your back, you need to drop down onto your knees. Good, Helen. Helen, give yourself a double chin with your head. So push your double chin time, double chin. I know, I won't say anything to anyone. You haven't got a double chin, I'm just saying give yourself one. Right, Wendy, let's go down onto your knees. Lock through your tummy, that's better. Right, lower. Good, Linda. Oh, that's a good one for you. Give yourself a double chin as well, Linda. You've got 20 seconds left. Sue, do it on your wrist if you're finding it difficult. That's it, good, 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 good. You've got 10 seconds, and we're gonna go onto our benches or chairs or beds or whatever it is you've got. Keep that head still, Dave. Give yourself a double chin. Don't drop your head forwards. Right, relax it there. Onto your bench, your chair, like Zoe's doing. Small pulses up and down. Three, two, hold on. Up you go. So small pulses up and down. That's it. Perfect. Keep going. Let's have a look. Nice, Dave. Good. Keep going, keep going. Come on. You've got 10 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Good Sue, keep those hips still, don't drop your hips too much. That's it Linda, three, two, hold on and relax it there. Boom, yes. Sue looks like she needs a wing. Oh, gee, 